Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're here at the Peacock Gym. I'm joined by MTK's very own Dan Aziz. All good, Dan? What's going on, man? You are right? Yeah, pleasure to be down here. Yeah, thank you for coming down. No man. worries, Appreciate no worries. Um, obviously, you were supposed to be out on this Friday, the yeah, yeah, yeah. on the MTK show, yeah. but you've pulled out. We'll explain yeah. what sort of happened there. Um, nothing really, just um, my guy Lee, um, he just would rather box me on the October show. Um, it's at York Hall, I'm from London. It's easier to get my people out there and um, yeah it's gonna be live on box nation as well so yeah we'll just wait for there for that show yeah mm. nothing nothing to it just yeah i'll just box on that show instead yeah sure obviously we see kelechi at your at yeah, your yeah, fight yeah. so is he gonna be there at your <laughs> yeah, call? Yeah, yeah all the time man <laughs> anytime i'm fighting if he's a part if he's in the country he'll come like it's a good uh, mate of mine um, he's very supportive so yeah um always expect him to be there whether he's bringing me out or just there as a spectator and um, yeah, he's always there to support me. So. Sorry to interrupt you, your coffee, sir. Thank coffee you very much. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Yeah. Um, yeah, I spoke to Mahib about this just yeah. now. Sort of, what was your background into boxing, your story behind boxing? What were you doing before? Um, I'm sure everyone knows. Um, I started boxing at uni. Um, just picked what up as a um, Essex, Essex Uni in Colchester. Um, I started doing it just as a hobby. Full, I think I got punched up by some guy who's much smaller than me. And I said, you know what, now I'm gonna try this out. I wanna get good at it. And then ever since then, I look back. Um, yeah, it's kind of become an addiction, lifestyle. Uh, that's about it really, yeah. So. And uh, your amateur career? Like yeah, 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 I had a few fights. I had about, I think something between 50 and 60. I won over half of them. Um, you know, box some really good guys, box over in Bulgaria, Spain, Ireland, uh, Portugal. Uh, All over the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got a, a vast bit of experience. So, uh, yeah, but my style's always been suited for the pros anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's showing. So, yeah. You want to see what? You're 5 and 0 now? Yeah, 5, five and 0. 0. Yeah. Um, do you want to be sort of fast track? Do you need to be uh, fast track, Dan? I don't know if I need to be. Obviously, as a boxer, I want to be boxing everyone but that's why you have your managers mm. your trainers and everything so you know they'll push me in the right time you know obviously i'm probably looking at probably southern area anything uh, that's where, I'm, where we're trying to head towards so yeah. really um anyone really going for that title as well probably mm. that's who i'm trying to fight to be fair so yeah mm. but i haven't even had a i haven't had over a four rounder yet so you know mm. maybe i might have to have one or two and then yeah i'll try and push for the first, you know, st staging titles, the area level, so which is southern area. So. Sounds about right, and yeah. uh, everything going well on the MTK Global. Yeah, yeah, brilliant, man. You know, shout out to MTK Global. Love my guy Lee, Mr. Lee, Lee, big yeah, up. Exactly, <laughs> AK, Mr. AMTK London looks after me. You know, he recently just flew me out to Denmark. Um, spot some really good guys out there, and yeah, he's looking after me, man. So yeah, got to definitely shout out to them. Mm. Mentioned sparring now, so he was up in Sheffield with all the boys and uh, yeah, Andy yeah. Joshua. Yeah, yeah, and I was brilliant, man. You know, got to watch him spar, train, and everything. It's, uh, it's inspirational being around him. Um, you know, box the top boys as well. Um, yeah, it's just good up there. You know, they're just at it. Uh, they're really good boys, and yeah, it was a real, real pleasure being up there. How's so, he yeah. looking ahead of the Povetkin fight? This um, looking strong, man. To be fair, mm. I'll, I don't. I, I'll be surprised if it goes past six rounds, man. Really? They're too strong, too fit, you know, it's just a too greasy, it's a, it's a different kettle of fish, man, so yeah. Well, obviously he's booked in for April 13th as well, yeah. providing he beats Povetkin. Yeah. Who do you want to see him fight on April 13th? Um, either Wilder or Dillian White. I just think it'll be a good good event, you know. Dillian always puts it on the line. Um, it'll just be a good dust-up, so yeah, I think Dillian deserves it. He's had two hard fights. It'd be nice for him to get a second one with AJ. Mm. The build up will probably be good. So, yes, yeah, so either Dillian or um, Wilder. Wilder. But yeah. I don't know, Wilder and them lot, they don't seem to. I don't know, they can't agree. I think AJ and Wilder won it, but I don't know. The, the team management team. Exactly, yeah. So. Well, he's got big fury, to be fair. Yeah, it? exactly. Yeah. And I don't even know if he'll do that, to be fair. If anyone's going to beat Wilder, apart from AJ, definitely yeah. Fury's the one, like, you know, very awkward. Mm. Um, being tall, so yeah. Inter um, interesting times. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, yeah. Um, this Saturday at Wembley on the AJ Povetkin bill, you've got your stable mate Lawrence Coley yeah. um, fighting for the British title. 
against Matty Askin. What's yeah. your thoughts on that fight? Um, yeah, obviously I'm here day in, day out with Lawrence. Um, I ain't seen him. This is like probably the fittest, strong, every flight. He's trained really, really well. And he's just, I think he's at the, he's at the bright, like this is the, how can I say it? Like, I can't explain it, but I've seen him train hard for fights. This is the hardest I've seen him train. And he's just been so consistent. So, so consistent. So, another, again, I won't be, I'll be surprised if it goes past, if it goes to 12, I'm not even going to lie. That's what Mabe said, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll be surprised. I, I would say between six and eight, if Matty can last the whole 12, I'll really give him the full applause. But you never know, it's boxing, isn't it? But obviously, I'm with Lawrence, so. Yeah. I expect him to do the job. Obviously, Definitely. Lawrence has got some good names already on his resume. Isaac exactly. Chamberlain, Luke Watkins. If he goes and beats Matt Yaskin, is yeah. he moving to European and world? 100%. This? I think he's probably, you might as well say he's moving into world. Like, he's only had 10 fights and, you know, he's beat the likes of Isaac Chamberlain, very good fighter, skillful. Watkins. You know, Watkins. These are tough guys in under 10 fights, like, and now he's right in the deep end against the number one in Britain. Mm. Um, you can't, you've got to take your hats off to him, man. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, definitely once he wins this, because I'll put Matty in with anyone in the world, really, the top boy. So, if he, if, you know, he comes through on Saturday, you've got to put Lawrence up there as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Exciting Everything's time. on Saturday, man. Mm. And I expect him to do great things. Yeah. Obviously, your stable mate, the other one, Mahib. Yeah, uh, Mahib. They just just start uh, signing with Frank Warren. Yeah, yeah, Big yeah. stuff for him. Br br brilliant, man. Trust me, Mahib is a character. Yeah. Like, so, and he's also <laughs> a good boxer. So, he's something that he's bringing another element to the game. You know, he's, he's a character. He's a, um, got a good style as well. Um, you don't like me saying it, but trust me, he's like a new version of the of, of Naz. Naz, do you know what I mean? Oh, that's a yeah, big statement. Yeah. No, trust me, man. Trust, even Frank said it himself. So, like, so he doesn't like to be compared. He likes to be his own person, which is in his own right, he should. But trust me, he's a character, man. So yeah. expect good things from him as well. Great things. So yeah. We've got Umar Sadiq down here as well. Yeah, his fight's been one. announced. Uh, Brentwood, I think October the 20th. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah, good fight that. Very good fight. Yeah, I've got to give both of them um, tip my hats off to both of them, both prospects, under five fights, and they're putting it on the line so early in their career. You can't do nothing but take your hats off to them, and I think that's going to be a very good fight. They're both in shape, both fit, and you know, without being biased, I expect Umar to come through again. Um, uh, I can't say how, yeah, it's still early days, but yeah, uh, I expect him to come away with a W. Yeah. Obviously, we mentioned your 5-0, and o, having done many, obviously, pro yeah. fights. How do you deal with all the praise you're sort of getting? It's odd that someone who's just 5-0 to get so much praise. It's a good I, thing, but everyone how are you says with it? Like, well, no, every, People say this, but I don't, I don't know. I don't see the praise. I don't know. Trust you know me, for I mean? someone who's 5-0, yeah. you're getting a lot of praise. Oh, but I appreciate it. Well, you know, I've just got to stay grounded, stay focused. I can't get carried away. No. I'm still very, very early in my career. So, literally, you know, like I said, look at Lawrence, under 10 fights, and look where he is and mm. who he's fighting. Umar again, he's fighting a, a, a well, a very good uh, prospect as well, Mahib. He's soon probably going to be fighting for some titles, big titles as well. So I'm looking at all these guys, I'm nowhere near them. So, you know, I have to stay focused and not get ahead of myself. So, yeah, um, it's great to answer your question. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is Brian making sure of that as well? Yeah, 100%, man. Brian's a great coach. Uh, he makes sure... He makes sure all of us stay grounded and got our eyes focused on the prize, whether we're getting praise, written about or whatever. He, you know, he like he always says it like, you know, create the hype but don't believe it. So whatever hype is around any of us, we can't believe it. We just gotta stay grounded and stay focused. So yeah. Well listen, Dan, thanks for talking to IFL oh, TV today. I appreciate it. Thank you, Omar, for coming, man. No I worries, man. Um, look forward to obviously October 26th when yeah. you accept the York call. Anything else you want to add on it? Um, no, nah, not really. Uh, obviously, just like to big up um, IDC. E. What is it? Um, it don't come easy. You know, they're always providing me with some good tracksuits and whatnot. Um, like to big up my my content provider, my advisor, my boy Al Al Wayne's. He was gonna say Al Heyman. No, 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 Al Wayne's. That's my guy. <laughs> obviously, Mahib, Umar, Lawrence, my trainer. Um, Brian O'Shaughnessy and yeah just everyone down at Peacock as well got some really good guys down here as well other boxers and trainers but yeah that's uh, and obviously MTK themselves yeah. but yeah listen top man Dan good sitting down cheers with you man today. thank you appreciate Catch it you soon.